Hello, I'm Jennifer. I'm a chirology and palmistry practitioner and teacher based in Johannesburg. And today I'm going to talk to you about the three components of chirology. Stay tuned. The first component of chirology is the need for a system by which to interpret the hands. And we use a five element system. And this offers us a way to interpret the unknown, which is the hands, in terms of the known, which relates to the principles of the elements. The system also covers all aspects of the so-called left brain side of being a hand reader, such as research, record keeping, print taking, understanding the history of the work, um, the morphology of the hand, which is all to do with the shape and structure and form of the hand, um, the, um, the way to um, be professional in your practice, how to brand and market yourself. It's all about the sort of more practical side of things. So that would cover the first component. So the second component of chirology has to do with coaching and counseling and how it's incumbent upon the individual therapist who is using hand reading, whether as a pure profession or whether as a support to their own other modality, to study at least the basics of how to do counseling and coaching. In chirology, we use a five-role model, which des it it describes the physical, emotional, vocational, mental, and spiritual aspects of our human experience. And it's a wonderful context in which to support the client. You know, we are really on our own here. We don't have a governing body of any sort globally that sets the bar, that sets a sort of standard by which we can become accredited. So we have an ethical responsibility, really, to um, recognize ourselves, to assume our own authority, and to present our work as ethically as possible. And therefore, any study of how to work in an ethical way with counseling and coaching is absolutely essential. It's not even negotiable. You know, if you're going to be a good hand reader, you definitely need some counseling and coach coaching basics. And even, if possible, to really extend your learning in that area so that you can become excellent at counseling and coaching. The third component of chirology is intuition. That is the aspect of hand reading that is unteachable. It's something that builds over time. One gets more and more intuitive. I like to call it intuitive perceptions. It's as if one walks through a certain portal and information comes from we don't even know where. It's not even necessarily directly in the hands. It's just it's as if there's an inner knowing that what you're about to say to the person is going to be correct. In the old palmistic system, this is called chiromancy. Cairo actually comes from the word cheri, meaning hand, and mansi from the word mantea, it's from Latin, which means divination or the ability to tell the unknown through a sign. Now, in hand reading, one might also consider that you want to support yourself with using cards, using other divinatory tools such as the runes, and this would fit under the capacity or the umbrella rather of intuition. All that is unknown and undefinable in the hand reading uh, profession. The three components of chirology then are the system, counseling and coaching and intuition. Please like, subscribe and share with your friends. And if you're keen to learn about hands, more about hands, please message me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear about what particularly interests you and how, how I can support you. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.